Hello. In this lesson, we are going to cover uh, lesson numbers three and four. And topics we are going to discuss uh, are methods and routines and grammar points that we are going to discuss present continuous and present simple tense. Present continuous. When and how do we use this tense? Actually, this tense deals with present, now, at the time of speaking. For example, I am speaking right now. I am having a lesson. What are you doing now? I think you are listening or watching the video. First of all, let me introduce uh, the structure of this grammar topic. Subject was to be, it means uh, a proper form of to be. M is or are plus verb ing. Example, I am playing football. When are you playing football? Now. Right now. I am speaking. You are playing football. Negative form. Subject M is R plus not and plus verb with ing. And now, what are you doing? I'm not playing football. I'm not watching TV. I'm not cooking. The action that you are not doing right now at the time of speaking. Then question form or interrogative form. In this case, to be, uh, I mean, M is R comes first, then subject. And plus verb ing, and of course, question mark. Are you playing football? This is question. Yes, I am. This is short answer. Yes, I am. Or, no, I'm not. If you are going to say no to my question. So, and we have special question form that has who, what, where, when uh, in its content. And plus M is R plus subject and verb ing. What are you playing? The answer is what? Right. Football. Uh, what are you listening? I am listening to the video or watching the video. So now signal words. Now, today, at the moment, this week, this month, this year. They are all signal words of present continuous tense. I am speaking now. I am playing today. I am having lesson at the moment. I am having English lessons this week. I am going going to the park this month. I am learning English this year. And the last one, usage. When do we use these tense? There are different usages. First one, uh, action that is happening at the time of speaking. The time of speaking. This is first one. Next one, action that is happening 
around speaking. It means uh, I am speaking, uh, but birds are singing. They are outside, but they are singing, but they are doing or, or performing action. Yes, uh, it is happening around me. This is number two. Next one. Arrange it. Actions. Arrange it. Actions in the future. Uh, arrange it. Actions for the future. I'm sorry. Uh, for example, I am uh, meeting Tom tomorrow. We have planned yesterday. We called to each other and arrange it to meet at uh, 2 o'clock the next day. So I am meeting Tom tomorrow. It is planned. So we can use present continuous tense. Now let's turn to present simple tense. This tense also deals with present but not with now, at the moment, uh, or around the time of speaking, but with habitual actions, repeated actions, uh, or daily actions. For example, I go uh, swimming three times in a week. It is repeated action. Every week I go swimming three times. For example, pupils go to school every day. This is also repeated actions. And students go to university every day. This is also repeated actions. I get up at 7 o'clock every day. This is repeated action and habitual action. It is a habit of me to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, this is present simple. Now let me introduce the structure of this tense. First of all, subject plus verb. Uh, verb itself it it if uh, the uh, if the subject is plural. For example, students go. Students go, uh, but the student goes. Uh, for plural verb itself. And for singular, uh, for singular subjects, verb with s or es. For example, I like English. And he, she plays tennis every day. He and she here singular subjects. He or she. That's why we need here s. We have extra English lesson three days in a week. We, plural, that's why here we don't need S. S we don't need. Uh, with I also, uh, is the verb itself is used, not with S or ES. It is exception. Now, negative form, subject plus don't for plural and doesn't for singular. For example, and verb itself, here verb itself. I don't like Chinese, this is also exception, and he, she doesn't play tennis every day. 
because here he or she singular subjects uh, then we don't have extra English lesson three days in a week we plural subject and uh, that's why we should use don't then verb itself this is the structure negative structure of present simple now question form or interrogative form do and does uh, is used at the beginning of the sentence then subject then verb itself do again for plural subjects and does for singular for example do you like english yes i do or no i don't does he play tennis every day yes he does no he doesn't do we have extra english lessons three days in a week yes we do no we don't next special question form it means wh questions it means uh, who what where these question words then plus do and does again here for plural and singular then subject then verb itself what do you like what do you play every day? How many times do you have extra English lessons in a week? If you have understood, let's continue here. Signal words. Every day, once, twice, three times in a week. Often, sometimes, always, from to, from to time, from to time also uh, means sometimes. Then, um, these verbs such as apologize, advise, insist, agree, refuse uh, are mostly used in this tense. And usage when and how. Do we use this tense? This is uh, first one is facts. For example, what is fact? The water boils if the water is 100 Celsius degrees. This is fact. Then repeated actions. This is number two. Repeated actions. For example, I play football once, once a week. Once a, every week you play football. Every week. This is repeated action. Then, third one, habitual actions or everyday actions. Every day I get up, every day I sleep, every day I have breakfast, every day uh, I send messages. And then uh, when you describe the process of the action, for example, when you are cooking, you should First of all, uh, then mm, first of all, you should uh, not, not just cooking. Uh, while describing, it means yes, uh, process. Let me describe the process of uh, making. Or preparing soap. For example, first of all, you put some oil into the kettle, then uh, put some 
meat into the kettle, then onion, potato, and all other ingredients, then mix and fry, uh, then you put, some, then pour some water, then the soup boils. This is a process of, uh, of preparing soup. So in these cases, we can use present simple tense. Here is the word list that you need to learn in this very lesson. Break, break, kick, kick, press, press, pick up, pick up, pull, pull, switch on, switch on, touch, touch, offshore oil platform, offshore oil platform, on duty, on duty, on leave, on leave, maintain, maintain, operate, operate, supervise, supervise, repair, repair, report, report, buy, buy,